Okay, so I've done a playlist on the cheapest seller on laptop and I've had all sorts of operating systems on this. Uh, it came with Windows 10, I optimized Windows 10, I upgraded to Windows 11, uh, which was unofficial because it doesn't really support Windows 11, but it worked although a little slow. Let's just switch it on. And let's hammer F7 so we can get into the boot menu. There we go. Let's go in a bit closer so you can see I've got Android on here. Uh, this is Bliss OS and uh, it gives me a few more options on this screen. Let's just pick this default option and let it boot up. It does boot up nice and fast. After this screen. So I've got an HDMI cable going into my other monitor so I can screen capture it. Uh, this is just a USB hub which I've got my gamepad plugged into, a little USB stick with some ROMs on it and also a 512 USB stick. You can use any old USB stick or you can install it to the drive inbuilt in the laptop. But I'm running this from this USB stick. Other operating systems I've had on this, Chrome OS Flex, Kubuntu which is Linux. I've also had Linux Lite on this. I've also done retro gaming with Recallbox and Batacera. I've had Windows Tiny 11, uh, which is like a stripped down version of Windows 11, but now it's Android with Bliss OS. So before I go into screen capture, I just wanted to show how responsive it is. So if I put two fingers on the trackpad and push up, you can see that I can select an app and it launches very quickly. Press the Windows key, again, push two fingers up, go to the Files app, uh, Windows key, and it is really responsive. It definitely doesn't feel like most other operating systems on this uh, six-year-old seller on processor. Uh, as we switch back in, so PPSS PP, I was playing a game just now, you can see it goes straight back in. Uh, it doesn't close it down, it's got four gig of RAM on this laptop. So the app tied store, uh, and if I go to home, this is a way of installing Android apps on it, and yeah, it's nice and responsive. Uh, so works really well. If I press Alt and Tab, you can see that I can switch between open apps that are there. So if I wanted to go back into the web browser, I can. Let's just do continue the website. And scrolling up and down is nice and fast. And this is Firefox Beta, which I've installed, uh, which the only thing I don't like about it, because it, it, it is nice and fast. It's, it's very, very smooth. So if I was to click on one of the stories, uh, there you go. So say, for instance, it's Glastonbury story. You can see that it launches pretty quick. It's gone straight into the video and it's playing. Uh, but if I want to open another tab, I've got to go up to the top here uh, and press plus here, uh, which I don't really like as a way of doing it. There might be a way of customizing this. Uh, and obviously you can just install any old uh, browser. Oh, and you can see here that it's come up a bit strange. I need to press function and num lock to be able to type. For some reason it puts on the num keys. I have had that on this particular laptop before. So let's go Hot UK Deals. This is a site which has loads of images and things on it and definitely the web browser is one of the things that really struggles on a low end computer these days. But you can see I can scroll up and down, especially once it's all loaded. Uh, it's really nice and fast. So if I click on this Xbox Game Pass story, you can see it's pretty snappy. It's, it's actually quite impressive. So if I press the Windows key again, and uh, press two fingers up on the trackpad, I can then go into PPSSPP and pick up my controller. And you can see it goes straight back into the game I was playing. Uh, it does drop some frames on this. This is at two times. Uh, I've got frame skip on. So this is a PSP emulator, so it's basically an Android emulator that I've just downloaded from the Aptide store or APK Pure, I can't remember which one. So you can see it's working pretty well. Uh, again, this isn't, you know, this is a really old Celeron processor uh, and it's running an Android app. So, you know, there's lots of things that aren't ideal, but it is surprising how well it runs with Vulkan support. So if I come out of this, go to settings, two times rendering resolution, the back end is Vulkan and I've got frame skipping on. So let's press the Windows key and we can go straight back out of it. Two fingers up and we can go into, say for instance, something like settings and have a look at various different things in there. So you can see all of that is nice and responsive. This would be even better if you had a, even a seller on laptop that had a touch screen. This one isn't a touch screen. Uh, so if I go back to files, 
And also if I go back to ADA64, just to show you a few things about it. So Coda 1.2, you can see that I've got four gig of RAM. Uh, it talks about 512 of storage, which is my USB stick, a lovely fast USB stick. Uh, then we've got uh, CPU, so it's telling me all the frequencies and everything here, so 800 to 2200 quad core, and the display is running at 1366 by 768. It even tells me the thermals, so it tells me how hot it's getting, so what, 55 degrees on some of the cores? Let's go back and see how it plays video. Uh, so if we go back to the browser, we'll go to YouTube and just see what it does. I've got a few tabs open, although on Android I don't think it seems to make that much difference. I'd have missed the why off YouTube, but it doesn't matter. And let's find one of my videos to demonstrate. After I've got rid of this bit. So in the search here, let's go with Lee, PSP video, HDR, and show my 4K video, and see, yeah, it goes into it pretty quick. Obviously this is the adverts, let's skip the adverts when it lets me. Let's keep all this in real time, there you go. So it's in the video, don't know what that green bar is, I haven't seen that before, uh, oh, it's gone away now. So if I click on this and it's on 360 at the moment, it's only going to let me go up to 1080. Um, but to be fair, 1080 on this screen is beyond what the screen can deliver anyway, so it's going to be all right. Uh, it looks like it's paused. It definitely has paused. Let's go full screen and let's uh, turn on stats for nerds as well and see how it's coping with that. So stats for nerds. What are we getting? 271 frames dropped, but is it still dropping? No, it seems to have caught up. And this is the first time I played YouTube and the first time I played video uh, on this Bliss OS. And uh, yeah, it looked like it was a blip at the start, but it can handle 1080 video. So let's hit escape and that will minimize that screen. Let's press the Windows key and let's show you again how quick you can go between these things. So two fingers up, PSP, go straight back into the game. Press the Windows key, two fingers up. Let's go back into the browser. And uh, you can see it pauses the video. Uh, obviously, it depends how much RAM you've got with things like Android and iOS as to how it keeps things going. Let's press play and see how long it takes to start up. Yeah, not too bad, to be fair. And again, it's dropped one frame, but it's not continuously dropping frames. And that's playing at 1080. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. So I'm going to try some more Android operating systems on this. So I was going to go to their website, which I had in one of these tabs. As I say, I, don't, I wish it had tabs across the top uh, rather than have to click on this and then go between tabs. But I mean, tabs, but it's not too bad a thing. So uh, what was I looking at? I was looking in here. So if we do a search for Vulkan, Vulkan mode. So it talks about Bliss OS 15.8.5 or newer having Vulkan support in it. So it is in there and it was working with PSP. So I'm really impressed with that. But uh, I'm going to try more versions of Android on this laptop because this has been really impressive. And maybe I can get something with a bit nicer interface. Now I can use a third party interface app, which I was using Sentio, which is this one here, Sentio Desktop. And uh, I've used this before in previous videos. This is kind of a, a Chromebook type of interface, but it does something weird here. I couldn't get this to disappear. Uh, I did try a few different things, but you can see you've got like a, a sort of standard launcher here, a bit like you'd have on Windows. You can see all the letters, so you can jump to particular ones, or you can start typing. So if I was looking for Aptide Store, you can see you can start typing, it will come up. And you've also got some quick launch things on here as well. But uh, yeah, overall, very impressed with the performance of Bliss OS. Uh, I'd probably, if I was going to keep it, I'd probably mess about more with uh, the way things work and the shortcuts and various things like that. But, but yeah, very impressed with the performance on this really low-end Celeron laptop uh, with a processor from six years ago that cost me $69.99 on TikTok. Anyway, I hope on this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.